time and I'm going to film what I can in the format that makes sense. Um, I was on the fence about this uh, BTEC UV Pro. I'm not a huge fan of the Chinese radios, but I am really digging the um, uh, Bluetooth TNC. So before I get uh, too much more excited about this radio, I'm going to have to subject it to a IP67 dunk test. Uh, first, I want to make sure it is working. We're going to go ahead and connect to my BBS first. Okay, and we're connected. And just a spoiler for all of you geeks out there, if you can see that. Uh, in the next video, I'll talk about some of the applications I've developed for this. And uh, we should be able to get the space weather alert uh, right now from my BBS. And that all looks good. So anyways, we're going to turn this bad boy off. The other thing I like to do to kick off the beginning of the year is to do deliberate cold water therapy or submersion. Uh, so we're going to toss this bad boy in. Don't know how cold it is outside. Okay, we've got the dog coming with us. All right, the pup might jump in, jump in with us, and it's dark here. And it uh, looks like we're 44 degrees, so uh, cold by Arizona standards. All right, you guys shut up. Come on, come in, Ginge. All right, so here we've got the uh, the phone here, or the, uh, the radio. And uh, we're going to toss this guy in. I did turn it off though, and I'm going to set uh, five minutes on my watch. And uh, yeah, we're probably okay. We are uh, properly in here now. Hey, shut up! I'm doing a video. Quiet. Uh, anyways, guys, so the plan for this year is to do uh, R and D, uh, research and development. So a lot less time filming videos. So. Uh, I need to be able to focus on the things that I'm good at. Let's get better lighting here. And uh, that's really on the software development side. Uh, so I had really good success uh, at the end of this year, or last year actually, uh, working on my MCOM Tools software project. I want to further that along. And um, I almost dismissed the UV Pro. Isaac from T-Rex Labs did send that to me. And uh, I discounted it because it was Chinese. And a few other things. Man, it is really cold in here. <laughs> Let's see what the rubber ducky says. Hold on a second, guys. Yeah, we're 44 degrees in here, too. Um, anyways, so he sent it off to me. Uh, I, at first, was kind of upset because I just did not have the time to evaluate it. But since I've been doing so much work with Packet lately and having really great luck with my local community and offering a local Packet-based BBS out here, uh, in the Snoran Desert, I thought, you know what, this might be a good time to test only the Bluetooth TNC feature. So again, that radio is brand new to me. Let me talk about a few things that I really don't care for. Uh, number one, the first experience turning it on and having to download the app was fine. Uh, no issues. I tested that on Android on my Uli phone armor. I don't know, it's a recent Uli phone. Uh, but I did not like the fact that it presented me with a uh, login to, or I had to create a login with them. And I refused to create a login through things like uh, Google or any of those th services. Um, so I used a kind of a bullshit account to set that up. Uh, and the app felt like it was trying to be too connected to the internet. I did not care for that. Uh, so I'm probably going to buy another UV Pro and go through that process again on a new system uh, without uh connecting it to the internet whatsoever and i'm going to try to see if i can manually program it so my intended use for the guy that's floating uh the, the b-tech that's floating the water underneath me about three feet here <laughs> hey shut up wrecking my video um i lost my train of thought it's so freaking cold here guys if you haven't done cold water deliberate therapy try it sometime um Anyway, so I'm going to try to buy a second unit probably after this video is recorded and uh, see if I can use it and program it manually. Uh, my intention for this radio is to really just use it more for the uh, Bluetooth packet uh, TNC 
uh, so I can connect to my BBS, do WinLink email, and a few other packet things. I do like that it is USB-C for charging. I haven't tested that. I'm still running on the original charge, so I'll let you guys know how that goes. But for me, I've been looking for a radio that um, – for a while now, uh, would service as a good field radio. And I usually have my Yisu VX6R, uh, but the problem I have with that one is when I want to go digital to do things like packet, what happens for me is that the VX6R has a threaded connector that's waterproof, but it's very janky and it's kind of a pain, and then I have to connect it to the digirig and then to the computer. This radio might serve as a good field radio because no wires, Hopefully it's IP67 rated. We'll find out if the damn thing works uh, after getting out of the pool here in a few more minutes. Um, and uh, yeah, so I don't plan to use the APRS features that are built into it. Uh, I'm stepping away from APRS. I feel like it's too connected to the internet and I want all my packet work to be local. So I'm not planning on using the mapping features that are available on the application for the BTEC. I'm not planning on using any of the APRS features. I plan just to probably program my local two meter and 440 analog repeaters and then use it for the TNC. So other channels will probably do it differently, but I'm really looking forward to taking it on trail run this weekend and taking it on its first test where I'll have the BTEC mounted in my uh, Hill People Gear chest rig um, and the Spectre Gear uh, pouch I have for the FT60. Uh, turn on my MCOM Tools platform. I've got a new version now that uh, hasn't been released yet that I just finished developing this morning that does full plug and play with the packet modes and then be able to pull out my FZM1 out of the chest rig and do the things without the wires. So hopefully that works. Let's see how much time here we got on the watch. Got four seconds actually. So give me a second. I'm going to have to go underwater. Okay. Well, hopefully the... Uh... Oh, man. The... Uh... This guy's going to work okay. Anyways, guys, uh, let's turn it on. And, uh, yeah, it's still in packet mode. So, anyways... Um... I can't read any of the comments here. It's freaking cold here. I'm going to warm up. Uh, I'll let you guys know if you see this uh, video or see the BTEC UV Pro uh, coming up in uh, one of the next videos, you know that it survived at least that five-minute dunk test uh, at a little over three meters. Uh, I was in our play pool, which uh, I think is at the three-foot mark, so actually three meters. All right, guys, I'm the Tech Prepper. Be strong, be safe, and uh, be prepared. I don't even know how to freaking turn off this thing. How do you stop the, the live? Yeah. All right. Have a good one, guys.